So this is going to be the first exercise that we're going to work on, which it's basically uh, it will help us to develop um, a quality of, of the, the technique, of the sound, so both for the dynamics and the, vol and the spacing between the notes. Okay, we don't want any shuffle feel unless it's not wanted we don't want the stroke louder than the other but we want everything nice and even so we will start from our comfortable speed we will understand what's a comfort zone so where a speed where everything works we feel relaxed and we could go on for like 60 to 120 seconds and we'll start from there we'll understand more or less what's this speed and then we'll put a metronome that matches the speed. So the metronome will be um, based on our comfort zone, not us uh, getting trying to adapt to the metronome because we have to uh, like create the exercises based from where we are, starting from where we are, going to improve like everything else instead if we have to we start already from a, a like a difficult situation we'll just make the process longer for no reason so let's do this let's put a metronome and then basically we will speed the metronome down for three steps 10 bpms at a time and then we go back to the comfort zone and we do the same but in the opposite direction speeding it up three times Okay, perfect. So, what we will feel while we will slow down and speed up um, the the single stroke roll um, technique, it's that the slower we go, the more space we will have to, of course, uh, let's say occupy, and, and we, we will have to move with a wider range of motion. This means that there's more space between the strokes and it's harder to keep the spacing even. So to go up and down from the rim um, with the same amount of space. So Okay, because if we don't do that and we'll go we don't go as down as much as up or as up as much as down we will have a shuffle type of kind of feel if we want that we can do that but if we want a straight we will have to make sure that we calibrate the motion okay the slower we go the the wider the space and also something that um, makes everything a little bit more comfortable for me it's almost to touch with my thumb the index finger when I do this as like so that it becomes kind of like uh, a way for me to uh, absorb the pressure and also the slower I go the further my thumb is from the rim not too much it's not a big difference but I, I notice that if I stay very close 
with the thumb to the rim when I do slower tempos it's harder than um, when I'm here so um, this is a, a little tip a little something that helps me instead when I go faster uh, the closer I am with the thumb to the rim the easier it is and the more relaxed my hand stays so today we're just going to talk how to develop this um, then we will work on the application in a separate lesson so that we don't make a lesson uh, confusing and too long which might are already very long but there are a lot of details to talk about and I, I meticulous in having as many information as much information as possible in each video so let's start on working on this you can start right hand left hand um, you know you can do also unison become creative with it so have a good practice and I'll see you next time